What's up guys? Yes, we are watching another animated story time. It's super interesting. Please watch. This one is called My Twin Sister is Trying to Replace Me. That is crazy. It's from a YouTube channel called Storytime Animated. Her links are all down below. Go check her out. And as always, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Links are down below. And please like and share the video. And comment below if there's any other videos on her channel that you would like me to react to. But yeah, I think we're ready. Let's go. I could remember it was just me and my mom. My dad abandoned us when I was just a baby and my mom never had any other boyfriends. Aww. As you can expect, mom and I were really close and I actually liked that there was no one else around. That way, I had my mom all to myself. Though sometimes I would feel jealous of the other kids whenever Kinda they had sad. their brothers or sisters to play with. I was on my own and a lot of the time my mom was busy working so she couldn't play with me. Sometimes in those moments, I really wished I had a brother or sister. But I guess I should have been careful for what I wished for. But before I go on, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more crazy stories. Things were pretty normal. My mom and I had a great routine going on. Every day I would get up for school and my mom would make me pancake. Is she praising Jeebus up in the mornings? It's before she went off to work. Then once I got home from school, we'd watch TV together and then I'd go off to do homework while mom made dinner. We'd eat dinner together, sometimes out in the garden, sometimes in the kitchen, or hey, sometimes with your mom a lot. watching TV. And then we'd have a game of cards. I was the undefeated champion until I was 12 years old, though maybe my mom let me win. We'd have a hot chocolate sometimes before going to bed, and if I was lucky, mom would let me have marshmallows too, and then we'd go to sleep. Life was pretty normal. I didn't want anything to change. I know, I know, change is inevitable. But I didn't want anything to be different. Sure, my mom could meet somebody new and have a boyfriend, but, and I've never admitted this before, I didn't want her to find somebody new. I loved it when it was just You don't just want your mom to be happy? And I most certainly didn't want a sibling. That was the last thing I wanted. But well, you are bipolar. that's exactly what I got. The first few things that started to change was our routine. Where we would usually have a game of cards, suddenly my mom would say she'd need to go out to buy something quick. And she would be gone for hours. She got a man. Then sometimes, when she returned home, she wouldn't even have bought anything. I was very suspicious. Mama got a boy toy. Was she meeting up with a secret boyfriend? I asked her what she was hiding from me, but she laughed and told me it was nothing. I was still suspicious, though. Then... Like, quit gaslighting me, woman. I know when you go out for three hours and don't buy anything, you have seen somebody. Something else happened that turned my world upside down. When I was 15 years old, a new kid moved to our school. Her name was Charlotte, and she was quite a shy kid. We took all the same classes, so she I looks pretty just much like saw you. her all the time, but I didn't speak to her that much if I was I'm being calling honest. It. She didn't have that many friends, and she always ate lunch on her own. Mm. When I told mom about the new kid at school, she immediately said I needed to be friends with her. But why? I asked. She's so shy, I don't really think she's my kind of friend. She knows her. She's a new kid, replied mom. You should give her a chance. Go on, Abigail, just do it. The next day at school, I asked Charlotte if she'd like to come sit with us, and she was really eager. When she got more familiar with us, she wasn't such a shy kid anymore. She started chatting a lot, and usually she was pretty funny. If anything, I actually got a little jealous. Because it seemed like my friends liked Charlotte more than me. My friends even said we looked alike. I didn't see it. But they said we had the same eyes and the same uh -huh. hair color too. I was annoyed and I decided I didn't want to be friends with Charlotte anymore. She might steal my friends. Girl. But one day after school we so were petty. walking out of class together when mom came to pick me up. She spotted me standing next to Charlotte and walked over. Hi Abigail, said mom. Then she looked at Charlotte. You must be Charlotte. Yes, said Charlotte, and she smiled. Charlotte, said Mom, you should come over for a play date. I'm making spaghetti bologna tonight. Do you want to come over? Oh, I would love to, said Charlotte with happiness. I was so... Why would your mom invite someone over without asking you first? That is sus. She knows this girl. Shocked. Why had my mom done that? She didn't usually ask people over randomly. Usually she'd consult me first to see if I even wanted to come. And I most certainly did not want Charlotte to come. But I couldn't say that now because it was rude. I sighed and we both followed mom to the car. When we got home, I was nervous because I didn't know what to do with Charlotte. But mom took care of that. It was more like a play date between Charlotte and my mom than me. 
She taught Charlotte how to play the game of cards we always played, and I was annoyed to find that Charlotte was even better than me. Then my mom turned on the TV, and she and Charlotte sat on the couch watching our favorite TV show, whilst I- Why? <laughs> what? Look, hold on, look at this. Why is your favorite TV show some random Asian guy with a nosebleed? You're into some weird stuff. <laughs> then my mom turned on the TV and she and Charlotte sat on the couch watching our favorite TV show whilst I sat moodily in the kitchen. We had dinner and after that, mom made hot chocolate. She asked me if I wanted one and I said no because I was jealous. But mom didn't seem to notice and so she and Charlotte enjoyed their hot chocolate with marshmallows while I had nothing. You said no, they offered it to you. You can join them, but you're being petty and making yourself the victim. That's your fault. Charlotte so much. She didn't usually do this with my other friends. What was so special about Charlotte? Finally, the night ended and mom offered to drop Charlotte home. At first, mom said Charlotte could stay over, but I had to put my foot down then. No, I think it's best if Charlotte goes home, I Ooh. said. There was an awkward silence after that, awkward. but I didn't care. Charlotte wasn't even a real friend. I didn't even like her that much. Mom drove Charlotte home and she returned a few hours later. So what do you think about Charlotte? She asked. I don't know. I said, she's okay, I guess. I think you sus. Oh, come on, she's great, said mom. You should really want to be your friend. I was suspicious then. Why do you want me to be your friend so bad? I asked. Mom looked uncomfortable then. Oh, it's nothing, she said, but I could tell she was lying. After that, mom had somehow got Charlotte's phone number, and this time she would invite Charlotte over without even asking me. Charlotte practically came over That's every weird. night, despite me never wanting her to. I was so annoyed. This wasn't fair. My mom couldn't just force me to be friends with Charlotte, but it also seemed like Charlotte wanted to be friends with me. She was always so nice to me and always tried to make conversation. Be nice. But I was stubbornly silent. She may have wanted to be friends with me, but I didn't want to be friends with her. Then, Don't get over yourself. Horror, mom started calling Charlotte honey and darling. As if Charlotte was her own daughter. I was That's so awkward. angry. It was as if mom was trying to replace me. Every time Charlotte come came over, I would lock myself in my room. But that meant I never really got to see mom since Charlotte and mom were practically best buds. Sometimes mm -hmm. mom would ask me to come down to hang out too, but I never listened. For a long time, I believed mom loved Charlotte more than me. Then one time mom offered to take us all to the zoo for a day out. Charlotte was pretty much living at our house now. I refused to go. I said I was feeling sick, but I wasn't really. I just didn't want to have to spend the day with Charlotte. It's not that I didn't like her. She was actually a pretty nice person, and if my mom hadn't been so forceful, I probably would have been her friend. Maybe even best friends. Mm -hmm. But now that Charlotte was practically stealing my mom, I didn't want anything to do with her. I think mom could tell I was lying, but she decided to go anyway. That really hurt me. My mom would rather spend the day with my friend than her own daughter. I thought, I just have to accept it. My mom is trying to replace me. While they were out having a lovely time at the zoo, I decided to go watch some TV downstairs. You could have gone. After feeling bored of that for a while, I thought that I would go into my mom's room to get some money to buy an ice cream down at the store. Surely she wouldn't mind. She did ditch me for the zoo. But when I was in my mom's room, I noticed one of the drawers was left open, and I could see a picture inside. I picked it up and smiled because it was a picture of me as a baby with my mom. But then my jaw dropped. You because good? that's when I realized that my mom was holding two babies. Knew it. Which meant I was a twin? I couldn't believe That's this. your sister. I was a twin? Where was my other twin? What had happened to them? Then I noticed another piece of paper in the drawer. It was a birth certificate. There were two of them. There was mine with my name clearly on it. Then another one, and what I saw really shocked me. It was Charlotte. Charlotte was my twin. How could I have a twin? Why had Charlotte been missing from my life you for put that all together? this time? Why hadn't my mom told me? All these questions zoomed in my mind, and then I heard a car pull in. My mom and Charlotte were home. It's I going down. I had to confront them then and there. I ran downstairs and shouted, Charlotte is my twin? <laughs> mom froze. Then she sighed. Yes, it's true. Charlotte stared at me, and she didn't seem all that shocked. You knew? I asked Charlotte. She nodded. I couldn't believe this. Are you trying to replace me? I yelled at Mom. What? She asked in shock. No, of course not. And then she explained everything to me. 
mom wasn't trying to replace me. She was just trying to make us feel comfortable with each other and she was hoping we'd feel that twin connection. She wanted Charlotte to move in with us permanently, but she knew if she had told me I had a twin suddenly, I would find it hard to adapt. Mom said that she had what actually a lot kidnapped Charlotte. Well, more like rescued her from our dad. At birth, we were separated, so mom took me and dad took Charlotte. Mom explained that dad was a terrible person and had given Charlotte a bad life, Aww. and mom had wanted to save Charlotte. That's why mom had disappeared at random times. She had been visiting Charlotte, who was now living in hiding at a motel. When mom said this, Charlotte had nodded in agreement, so I guessed it was true. While I was trying to process all this information, another car pulled in the driveway. Who could that be? Asked mom in confusion, and then a man showed up. Dad? Yelled Charlotte. I looked at the man who was my father. His Ew. face was red with rage, and he seemed to be drunk. Then, without warning, he leapt forward and tried to attack my mom. I was so shocked. Everything oh, happened so fast. I was practically frozen with shock. But then Charlotte came to the rescue and pushed my dad off and forced him outside. She locked the door and immediately called the police. I realized that Charlotte may have just saved my mom's life. Our dad was arrested for attacking my mom. I was so scared my mom would go to prison for technically kidnapping Charlotte, even though Charlotte had been willing, but mom actually ended up winning custody of Charlotte since the judge could see just how bad her father was. And me? I've now had a change of heart. I'm actually so glad to have a twin. I never realized it, but I had missed nice. out on so much by not having a sister. I regret not being able to grow up with Charlotte, but we're now making up on those lost years and so is mom. We are a happy family now, and I love it. Aw, good for you. But I think it would have been so much simpler for the mom to just explain the situation, not just leave your daughter confused on why you're hanging out with this random teenage girl with no explanation. That was so complicated. Anyways, that was really interesting. Hope you guys liked it. As always, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Links are all down below. And please like and share the video. And that's it. So I will see you word people next time.